right, all right. The name is Dale, man, doing a review for the new Lupe Fiasco Samurai. And we're just going to say off the top, this album is very solid to good, better than I expected it to be. Just going to give you a little brief history on Lupe Fiasco. I felt Lupe was on his way to being a household hip-hop name, whereas you got the mainstream notoriety and the respect of the hip-hop heads at the same time, like on a level of a Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole before them, actually. I think he was on his way. Kind of in that Kanye West type of stratosphere, but not as, not as big, but the next level down, should I say. And I think after his second album, The Cool, he was well on his way. Then he dropped his third album, Laser, or Lasers. And I think he kind of disappointed folks. I know he disappointed me with that album because I really dig his first two albums, Food and Liquor, which was his first joint. I think that dropped like in 2006. And then The Cool, which is another album I really like in 2007. When he dropped Lasers in 2011, that's where he, I think he went a little wrong. I think he uh, made a conscious effort to get that superstar status, so to speak, and kind of changed the sonics. He went away from uh, the producer he was working with heavily on the first two albums soundtrack, kind of went a different direction sonically, and kind of went after that, I would say, stadium slash pop feel to it. Not all the way pop, but enough to try to reach that status. And I think it didn't work. The album was disappointing to me and others. I mean, that being said, it still had one of my favorite songs by him, All Black Everything. That's one of my favorite joints by him in general, period. His whole collection and just happened to be on that album, which wasn't a good album. So after that, he just became like, an underground hip-hop hero. And I think he lost that shot, that opportunity to get to that to that spot that I think he was reaching for. That's just my perception from the outside looking in. I could be totally wrong. It could have been an organic sound he was going for and it just or, or a different sound he was just going for and it just didn't work for him. But the albums in between Lasers and this joint that I'm going to review today, they were just okay. You know, he had he had a few songs here and there like Bad Bitch that stood out, a uh, joint called Lamborghini Angels that was pretty good. He had some joints on those so-so albums. They was okay. I think with Lupe, he tends to get a little too abstract, gets a little too artsy for my taste and I think for other people's taste. And I think that was the problem with those albums. But then he had another album that dropped in 2022 called Drill Music and Zion, which were better than the previous ones before that, the few albums before that, but it still wasn't as strong as I thought it could be, but it was better. This album is better than Real music in Zion. This is his best album since The Cool, in my opinion. And I feel that this one, that he went back to Soundtrack. Soundtrack, I believe, does most of the uh, production on this joint. And I really like the style of production on it. It's jazzy hip-hop. It almost has like a tribe called Quest feel to it. Not as good, but it has that feel to it. And another thing I found interesting about this album is he sings on, I think, pretty much every song. But he sings on, like, the hook or the chorus. And what I, and it works. Surprisingly, it works. If you would have told me, oh, this dude going to be singing on all his hooks <laughs> and all his choruses and going to be doing all his singing, I would have been skeptical. But it works because he raps. He raps a verse, and then he sings the hook. Then he raps another verse. So he's able to do that, and a lot of artists can't pull that off. 
and he doesn't use a lot of effects on his singing voices. He doesn't use any auto tune that I can detect, and he used very little effects on his voice. It's his natural voice, which I really appreciate because I think a lot of these artists that be rap artists that be trying to do the singing shit. They lean too heavy on that auto tune and it starts to sound the same, start to sound repetitive. You don't really hear their actual real voice. You don't really know how they sound. Maybe that's the point because they can't really sing or the singing is ain't as good or they just follow the trend or they think it's the new thing to do or they just like the way it sounds with some auto tune. But he uses his natural voice, which I appreciate, and he actually has a voice for singing is not bad. I've heard him harmonize and sing in the past, but never as much as he does on this album. And he said the concept of this album is like, if Amy Winehouse, God rest the dead, rest in peace to her, just saw the movie on her not too long ago anyway, but he said it's a Amy, if Amy Winehouse was a battle rapper, <laughs> which I think is like an odd concept for an album, but I didn't get that listening to it, but I don't know. I have to, I have to, you know, give it some more listens to see if I can grasp that uh, concept that he that he says that he did for this joint. But anyway, he got a lot. I like every song except for this song called "What Bigfoot." That's the only song I didn't like, and it's not a bad song, but. I won't be listening to it. I'll be skipping that. But everything else I like. And there's only eight songs. So it's a very short list. I think it's like 30 minutes and some seconds. So it's an easy listen. I was surprised that I like it as many songs as I like on there. Damn near everything except one song. I mean, you got joints like Samurai, Mumble Rap. I really like Mumble Rap. Kate, Palaces, Number One Headband. Outside till e to eternity. I think he has like two or three videos for songs off this album. And if I had to grade this album, I would give it a B, damn near B plus. The lyrics are abstract as he normally comes, but it's more. I think it's. I think the album on the whole is more digestible than what he's done in the in the previous past. Because sometimes he can get a little too abstract. But I'm like, all right, what the fuck is he talking about? It sounds good, but I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> but on here, I have that same tendency to feel that way on certain certain things and certain lines he says. But it, it works better on this album than it has previously in the recent you know, past. So it's a good album. Better than I expected. I don't know if it would make my top five albums when this other year, when this year is done with. But that being said, it's definitely worth buying. And I dig it. So there you have it. I'm done. I'm finished. Look, mission impossible to drop a few lines without yeah. dropping old times when Southern Hill was still a gold mine. With pistol grips was my shit and I sold mine. When Alias was not a show and they told mine. Elevate your mind with high quality THC infused products. BlackYeti.com Black-Yeti.com